Good morning and happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to the Daily Dose of Success God's Way. I'm Erin Harrigan, your Hustle with Heart coach and your Healthy Living coach with Arbonne. And I want to welcome you to part seven of pursuing God's goals. I do want to take just a second at the beginning of this for those of you that I don't know and um, tell you that Hustle with Heart is my coaching that helps entrepreneurs align results with God's truth. And so I really help entrepreneurs who are feeling stuck in their business. Maybe they've had success, but they've hit a wall and they're trying to rediscover the joy. Good morning, Christy. Uh, in their business and really dig back into um, why they're doing what they're doing and how they can build a God-centered business. But I also want to share with you, if you're like, what is this healthy living with Arbonne thing, is that I am a brand ambassador for the global healthy living brand Arbonne and leveraging their almost 40 years of um, clean and green, pure, safe, and beneficial nutrition, skincare, um, and personal care products. I help people change their brands so that they can live a healthier life inside and out. And then I show them how to share that with others uh, to build an additional income stream too. So I wanted to give you some of that background because some of you may be tuning in, you don't even know who I am, but somebody recommended that you watch these daily lives. So I'm super excited to have you here um, and to virtually meet you. So today we are finishing up this um, seven part series that I've been doing from this Bible study, Experiencing Success God's Way by Charles Stanley. And um, this part has been on pursuing God's goals. So we've set the goals God's way, and now how do we take the action to pursue them? And this has all been based on the story of David and Goliath, which is found in uh, 1 Samuel chapter 17. So Highly recommend that you go and read that for yourself. But we have two things to cover today. Um, and these are the aspects of um, pursuing God's goals as demonstrated by David in his pursuit of his goal um, to, to be the man that God had called him to be and the, and the king that God had appointed him to be. But this is the point in his life where he's a teenager and he's taking on this giant Philistine where the Israel army, Israelite army is sort of backing off and he's like, this is God's fight and I'm going after it. So um, these last two aspects, the first one is courage developed over time. Good morning, Shannon. Um, the courage to pursue God's goals doesn't happen overnight when we're doing it God's way. Um, we can certainly lean on ourselves to do it. Absolutely. And I feel like I have this conversation very often with the Lord in my daily time with him where I'm like, God, I can go. Oh, what's going on? Hold on one second, guys. Okay. Um, give me a thumbs up if you can hear me, because the sound was doing something really strange. Uh, so can you guys hear me okay? Anybody? Anybody? Shannon, thumbs up. You can hear me? Okay, I'm going to continue. It was like doing a weird playback. But my point is, I have this conversation with God very often where I'm like, God, I can go kill this. Like, I can get this done. And he's like, that's not the point. I want you to do it my way and I want you to do it the way I've called you to do it. So um, what this says is that David did not suddenly awaken one morning and have the courage to confront Goliath. He developed courage as a shepherd boy, protecting his father's flocks against elements, predatory animals, including the lion and the bear. And so it's really funny when he's asked, um, I think by King Saul, like, what makes you think that you can take on this giant? David's like, listen, I may be a shepherd boy, but I know how to kill the lion and the bear when they come to attack my flock. So I got this. Um, so that courage was developed over experiences and moments when he had to really stare down his own fears with his flocks in the wilderness. So I want you to know that God is waiting for you to ask for him to give you the daily courage to face the tasks and the temptations and distractions that are before you. So ask him to give you the courage to accomplish both the immediate and short-range goals that you've set. 
And this will be your best possible means of developing the courage that you need when major obstacles or even crisis occurs. Um, this is one of my favorite verses in 2 Timothy 1, uh, verses 6 and 7, where he says, um, and this is Paul writing to, Tip to Timothy, Therefore I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And that sound mind also relates to discipline. Um, so I just want you to think about when you're feeling this lack of courage to pursue the goal or even the, that the distractions are getting the better of you or how do I take action today, Lord? Lean into him and ask him to give you the courage and show you the action to take and he will. But the important thing, and this is what we talked about yesterday, is when he gives you that action, like you need to, you need to take it immediately. I was talking with um, one of my coaching clients yesterday about how God will often give us the names of people to reach out to, and do we reach out to them right away? And the answer is yes. The answer is yes. You know, Moses really pushed back, and and um, when God was calling him to lead um, his people, and you know, saying like, "Lord, I, I don't have the gift of speech. Like, what am I going to say?" And God's like, "Dude, I'm going to give you the words. Remember that God is going to equip you." But ask him for the courage. Pray that he will give you that courage um, every single day. And then the last part is a conscious dependence on God at all times. And I'll tell you, as entrepreneurs, this is where we get in our own way. Um, his people. And you know, I don't say, know like, why Lord, this is playing back. Can you guys hear that playback? God's like, dude, I'm going to give you the I'm hoping word. just me. Remember that God is going that. to equip you. Okay. Hopefully you can't hear that playback. It's like playing back what I just said. Um, you know, as entrepreneurs, this is where we get in trouble because we know what we can do and we want to lean and depend on ourselves. Um, but we've got to have a conscious dependence on God at all times. Hey, Rick, good morning. So here's what that looks like as entrepreneurs. Thanks, Shannon. Um, based on David's story, um, David had a conscious, openly expressed dependence on God. So let your conversations and your statements to others reflect your dependence on the Lord. Remember at all times that none of us can accomplish anything of eternal benefit in our own strength. And here's the deal, guys. Um, as we are showing up in the world, it is not a weakness to depend on the Lord. It is not a weakness to admit that in moving forward as a God-centered entrepreneur, in pursuing success God's way, that God is at the center and you it is not in your own strength. The world wants us to believe that this entrepreneurial journey needs to be a fight and it needs to be so difficult and we need to be... Um, you know, it's all on our own might, and if it is to be, it's up to me. And you know I have changed that around and said, if it is to be, it is up to he. Do not feel um, that that is not a position of strength. But if you're feeling like that's weakness or less than or, the, or you know, you're worried about what people are going to think, that you're like, listen, this is God's business, and I'm just doing his work, and he's going to show me the way forward, um, let your weakness be, you know, lean into his strength in that. Um, so this gives us Psalm 27, 13, and 14. And again, I'll post these reference verses. I would have lost heart unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Guys, that doesn't mean don't take action. But it means that you've got to be leaning into him and showing the world your dependence on him to move this forward. And I promise you this. I don't have this on paper. There's no way for me to um, – funny because I feel like it, it's not a, a thing that I can duplicate. Um, but here's what I know is true. When you are aligned to the Lord, when you're pursuing success and his goals, his way, when you are – depending on him at all times in your business, I promise you he will move. People will show up for you to serve. New clients, um, new people reaching out to you to ask you, like, how do I become part of this business that, excuse me, that you're in? Um, he will bless that obedience and that dependence. And guys, 
Be aware that sometimes it's not going to look the way you want it to look in your business. He may bless you otherwise. But I promise you that if you're waiting on the Lord, you're taking action, but you're, you're, you're dependent on him to show you which way or who to talk to or what that looks like. I promise you, I promise you that he will bless that. So here's what I want to leave, with, leave you with at the end of this, this incredible seven days of lessons. Um, to remember, God has commanded me to be, God has commanded me to be courageous since fear is my enemy. I will ask the Lord to increase my courage and help me to defeat fear as I move forward. So that's your daily dose for today. Um, tomorrow we start a really, really, um, challenging and exciting topic in this same Bible study, which is money and success. It's going to be a good one, so don't miss it. Okay, so um, comment below. Share this with people if, if you think they would find it helpful. Be sure to get over to the Success God's Way community. That's where I do the weekly dose live. Um, so become part of our encouraging community of like-minded entrepreneurs who are pursuing Success God's Way and building God-centered business. And then, again, if there's anyone you know or even yourself, that you feel like I could just really use a little help in this success God's way and what this looks like. I would love, love, love to have a conversation with you or your friend and see if um, I, I am the right coach to help them hustle with heart. So with that, have a happy Friday. Um, wishing you uh, dependence on the Lord and all kinds of blessings for that obedience. Sh Shannon, thank you so much for your kind words. It really means so much to me to be a messenger of this um, and to see that it's touching lives. So have a great Friday and I'll see you guys tomorrow.